Welcome to News Alert on Capital Television. Participants at a two-day conference on education have called for the involvement of industry and employers in the labor market in the design of education and training curricula in the country. In a communique issued after the conference, the participants were of the view that the involvement of industry in the designing of educational curricula will help produce graduates with capacity to fill the labor market. The participants also call for the increase in the duration of practical attachment for students to enable them appreciate what is taught in class and at the workplace. The two-day conference, which was opened by the president, was under the theme achieving a strong partnership between education and industry, the way forward. The participants came up with the following recommendations for policy action. Indeed, there are 16 action points that I read out as follows. Number one, education and skill training in the country be, consi be considered from a global perspective by producing graduates with the view to making them effectively compete in the world of work at the national, regional, and local level. The National Identification Authority has disclosed that a new registration program to register all Ghanaians, as well as non ghanaians will begin next two months. According to the NIA, the new registration will offer instant issuance of identity cards departing from the old system where cards were issued months after registration. This means that all old cards issued by the NIA would be replaced. The head of corporate affairs, Berta Jeble, in an interview said the authority is in talks with banks and telecommunication companies to use their offices as registration centers. Berta Jeble urged Ghanaians as well as non ghanaians to take advantage of the new registration. We covered the entire country previously using a, a system where we went to collect data uh, and then uh, we brought the data to a central point where we process and then we print the cards and distribute. And we realize that um, there's been some challenge, especially with the distribution. Uh, we took cards into the communities and about 50% were, were brought back because people did not turn up to uh, collect it. There is new technology that we can issue the cards instantly. And we have that opportunity to also uh, check people's data into the main system before printing uh, the cards. And so um, uh, it's not as if we, you have to uh, uh, print issue cards and later maybe blacklist some names. We will uh, do a new registration. Uh, not per se that you have to go through the whole process again, but we will be using new technology, new equipment to issue cards to people. What I'm trying to say is that we are going to issue cards instantly to Ghanaians based on a different technology, but that is able to work with the old data that we have collected. Disaster is lurking on the Accra Eburi Road on the Equiapem Ridge as boulders of the mountains have been falling onto the road. A visit to the Kevi Road revealed the weakness in the mountain boulders which paired precariously on one another, ready to fall at the least disturbance. The road serves as one of the major roads that links the greater Accra and the eastern regions. Hundreds of cars uses the road daily. The construction of houses on the edge of the mountain has been identified by experts as a major cause of the weakness of the mountain. An imminent disaster is staring in the face of Ghana if no immediate solution is found to the falling of the mountain boulders onto the road. Air Force to speak to the Ghana Highway Authority was not successful as the news team was tossed from one office to the other.
The national coordinator of the National Youth Authority, Ras Mubarak, has urged young people to sacrifice for the country as others put their blood online to give us independence. We are losing our sense of nationhood. I was just reading a story online on my way here, and there's a district chief executive officer in the Nalerugu area who's taken to teaching in the classroom simply because uh, national service personnel have refused to take up postings in that area. Brothers and sisters, people put their lives on the line. Blood was shed to get us independence. People lost their property. People were shot just so Ghana can become an independent Ghana. And if people have made these sacrifices to bring this country this far, the least our generation, my generation, can do would be to go into these remote areas. Because these areas offer unique opportunities of doing things differently. Speaking at the launch of Speed Up, a project of Center for Self-Development, he said that young people graduating are more than those retiring, so the private sector should help care this challenge of unemployment. Meanwhile, Ghanaian sensational rap artist, rap doctor Ochiami Kwame, received an award for high performance in his musical career. He expressed his happiness. I feel recognized. I feel special. Because um, for an organization that is um, performance oriented, to see you as a performer and acknowledge um, your activities and give you an award for your performance, um, I believe that it's a really it's a feather in my cap. And if I get a few more of these, I'll be able to fly. A group of young men this afternoon stormed the premises of Conqueror's Academy of Business Studies and seized instruments used for worship at the school. According to Ni Aithego, a member of the group, they were informed about the school's worship which was so loud, hence the seizure of the instruments as the school had violated the ban on noise making imposed by the Ghan Traditional Council. For the past one week, you all have heard about the uh, ban on drumming and noise making. So we were at home and we had a phone call that there was a school here, I mean, disturbing the public. And you know, it is prohibited. So we have to come and pack their things to the palace so that they could come there and meet the elders. Actually, they will be fine or they, their things will be, will, will be packed there until after the drumming and noise make before it will be given back to them. Items seized at the school located at Latebiokoshi include two speakers and one keyboard. Meanwhile, Osman Ali, school prefect of the school, explained they were at worship when the men entered and forcibly took possession of the items. He, however, called on the students to be merged and not engage in violence. Well, um, what I want to inform my colleagues that is that um, they shouldn't call, they shouldn't do anything that is um, who seems as if we are taking the law in our hands. So they should let um, the school authorities deal with everything that is on the ground. The Ghana Black Stars have started their journey to the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. They started their training at the Accra Sports Stadium Tuesday evening. Expectant fans showed up in their numbers to watch the Stars train. It's good preparation. Like the way they start today, you see the morale, everybody is here watching them and we support them. Oh, it's good, it's good. Well, I want to see the uh, morale, morale is a uh, good one. Well. And then uh, my small problem is the prayers, they are, they are not on, on, they are not, on, they are not here. That's my, um, my worry. 